Hey there, it's Patmos, and nice of you to join me for yet another episode with our prison. And let's just take a look at everything. Well, this is all. Day 47, so I guess we've been doing quite okay. We have a working functional prison, although threat level is increasing a bit. But that's probably because quite a few people just need to eat, and then they'll be happy again. And, well, I think the goal should be for us to lower the reoffend rate. It's still 35%. If we can get this down to at least under 30%, or at least, I hope, under 20%, that means that only 1 in 5 prisoners will reoffend. So we'll get the bonus if we reform them, and we don't then we don't get the punishment or the penalty if they reoffend. So we should work on lowering this number because now one in three um, prisoners will reoffend. We also don't have that much money, so it's going to be a bit tricky. But I think investing in a few programs might help out. And the way to do that is, for instance, to just simply set up a three strikes program. Let's do that. Can we do two? Yeah. Two times the three strikes program. We also get uh, this one uh, lined off. So that's good. We, we achieve this. We could do animal therapy. Although for that we need a meeting room. We also need a meeting room for the reformed prisoner consultation. So I guess trying to get towards a meeting room might be a smart choice. So let's speed things up a bit. And what I would like to do is set an area here up to be a meeting room. And um, then use the rest of this land for some farming. I think that could be really interesting. So what I would like to do is basically start working on a little foundation. And we'll use this whole area as the meeting room. It'll cost us quite a bit of money. But I think we can handle it. We'll place a door right here. And once this is completed, we can put in the utilities and all the stuff for the meeting room. And then we'll have a meeting room and we can hold the prisoner um, reformed consultation in here and do the um, animal therapy. And I think that'll be good. At the same time... No, I just wanted to speed things up. I didn't want to go to that prisoner. We already have 67 prisoners that are reformed and released. As soon as we get this up, we get some money from it. So that's good. So, um, yeah, this is a way to get some money and to help lower the reoffend rate, and that's really important. So let's see how well we can do. Well, at least they started working here, so that's good. And it's always good to also keep your staff programs in mind. So we have the Tasia program, only 11 in queue, only 16 in queue, and 15 in queue. So most of these are done. So we'll keep them running for a while, but after a while we'll get rid of them. And same thing to just check your programs. Are the people still interested? Well, there's a lot of people interested, as we can see. So um, a lot of people interested in the foundation educational program. So we'll do a few more. Some behavioral therapy. Can we do more than one? Yes, we can. Now we can do two. All right. Well, that's something. And 45 in queue for the alcohol therapy. But we can only do one at the same time. We have parole hearings. So that's fine. Quite a few passed, actually. That's pretty interesting. So we'll keep it with this for now. Well, we can see everyone's asleep, so this could be a good time for a tunnel search. Ooh, we found a tunnel. Straight off. Two tunnels already. So, it's very good that we did this. Let's pause for a second and let's remove the tunnels that we found. Ah, three tunnels. There's even more. Oh, it's quite hard to find them of four tunnels. There's also tunneling here. So we'll have to get rid of all those tunnels. I think I'm just going to select whole cell blocks and then see if there was still a tunnel and, and, and get to remove it. There's no tunnels here. No tunnels here. All right. So, well, that was pretty successful since we found four tunnels. We also make a bit of money again. And this is ready, so we can put in things like um, some lighting. And then we can start to um, really set it up as a meeting room. So let's go to rooms. Let's try and find the meeting room, which is 
Psychiatric meeting room right here. All right, let's place this as a meeting room. It needs to be indoor size 5x5 five five and it needs chairs. All right, well, are there any good chairs? Oh, yellow chairs. Well, that's fun. Well, since this is a meeting room, I think people should be able to meet each other. So they should be able to see each other. So I think this will be interesting setup. Something like this. Um, should I add more seats? I think so. So this way they can really meet each other. I think that's pretty interesting. All right, well, this should be a complete meeting room. So we'll have to wait until the chairs get in, of course. But then we can start to set up the other programs as well. And as soon as one prisoner passes each of those programs, then we get... 30,000, which is good money. Oh, this is also very nice. Ah, we took in a few prisoners. All right. Well, the chairs are being brought in. I'm not going to set it up already because I want all the chairs in so that we can see how many participants can be in. And then we're going to go with the animal therapy and reformed prisoner consultation. And after that, we have time to try and work on farming. So this all will be interesting. Now, let's see. Yes, that's just two more chairs to go. And then we should be there. Yeah, just one. Should be inbound. Yeah, there it comes. Very good. Alright, let's go to the programs. Let's find the animal therapy. There it is. And the... um. Reformed Prisoner Consultation. Now, let's see, can we do more programs? Maybe two of each, because we have a lot of people interested. Can we do three? Yes. Can we do three of these? Yes. All right, well, that's interesting. Can we do four? Yes. Because I believe these therapies can be really useful. All right, so, we enrolled prisoners in each and every one. We'll now have to wait until they're done. Um, let's see. We're going to watch that soon, as soon as animal therapy starts, because that looks really funny. I've already done that in one of my trial prisons, but it's really interesting to watch. But this is good. We now get to... Um, let's check the reform program. 36. Let's see if this helps our prisoners to release some anger with animal therapy and stuff like that. And hope that they're straightened out a bit more. It's also good, you can see here, the average work experience is pretty low. So it might be good to see if they all have the jobs that we can provide them. So this can provide eight jobs, we can't provide any more, but maybe there's places where we can provide even more jobs. And that could be interesting. This is just 12, just 12. Ooh, this one's nearly overloaded. Uh, it's still okay. All right, let's keep working on the prison labor. Let's see if there's anywhere we can add more people to do a job. Because that will be good. Ah, here we could add one more. That's it. That's good. Oh, here we can add quite a few more prisoners. I think that's really important. Just add whoever you can so that they can do a good job. Although I also think we should assign at least two guards here and maybe a dog handler. To make sure that uh, everything stays in order. Same here. Just one guard to at least keep things in control. That can be a wise decision. I think we have plenty of guards. We have, well, we had 16 available. We have 10 available now that they're free. So that's working out. This seems to be working quite good as well. We really make some money. So that's nice. Let's see, is there already some therapy starting, or will there be the next day or something? Could very well be that they just start the next day. Animal therapy, yeah, it's not going to start soon. They're all going to bed, I think. Yeah. Alright, well, this also gives us a little bit of time to start planning some farming. Let's see. Oh, I think we have to research it first. Yes, so let's research farming. And some forestry, because then we can plant forests and uh, use those trees in the workshop. So that could be a good thing as well. Maybe we can also add a few of these machines again. 
I don't, I'm not sure. Do we have carp? Ah, we have carpentry, so that's good. Do, do we also provide, all right, we also provide the program, so that's good. So I don't think we really need carpentry here. But we could just uh, put in a few extra machines, maybe. Do this. There's no room for extra machines here, but that's okay, I think. Ten. All right. Well, this is probably going to cost quite a bit of... Um yeah, this is costing us all of our money. We might even run out of power again. So let's place two extra capacitors. But this will also give us the extra money that I want. Because with the um, programs, or with all the work, they, we can do a lot of exports. Let's just rush these two, because I don't want to run out of power. 324. Ah, it's only powering this room, so that's good. And we didn't connect the power lines yet, so that's good. 373, 393, so yeah, that's a lot of extra power. But this should do the trick, I think. I think we can manage now. And then we'll see, at least, oh, maybe this also provides extra jobs again. No, this is it. All right. Well, at least they'll be able to uh, do some extra stuff and create some extra stuff for us, which can be good. Extra exports means extra money. Oh, there's a reoffending prisoner. That's not good. I'm still a bit troubled by the fact that I took cell block E grant because we're not going to make that anytime soon and there are others that we could have gotten earlier so that wasn't really the smart one but we'll manage I'm still really happy we actually do make money and um, yeah we get 5,000 reoffend fines our reform programs are pretty expensive but um, well with exports we can almost cover that so that's really good and, of course, we gained quite a bit of money with um, prison grants. So that's good. That's really good, actually. Maybe we should start to plan some farming, then. Now, if you want to do some farming, we have unlocked it. So here we can see we can get vegetable fields, fruit fields, um, or orchards or charts and farming fields and a pantry and even a flower garden and with the flower garden we can do another program which is flower therapy and um, all we need is to set up an area for that and we can start that program and they can just grow some flowers for us now what I'd like to do is keep two spaces open on both sides where people can walk and the rest in between we can set up for, for things like that. So let's see. One, two. So here, one, two. So this could be a... Um, let's do it like this, I think. 10 by 16. And this can be for flower therapy. It's outdoor. Now you can even pick the flowers yourself. So you just zoom in a bit, and here we can see all the different flowers. Now it's 10 in length. So what we can do, we have five different types of flowers here. Oh, we need to change the underground first. That's, it needs to be dirt. So remember that. They need to grow on dirt. That's fine. Another 10 by 16, yes. So let's turn it into dirt now. And then we can start to plant the, um, the right plants. There he is. Let's pick the rose bushes. We'll do two lanes of each. So two lanes of rose bushes, two lanes of sunflowers, and then we can pick out all these flowers. So that's nice. And since we have a lot of workers, this is going pretty fast. All right, it will cost us a bit of money, but that's fine. And I believe we should be able to sell the plants that we get, but we'll see. Alright, so this is now the Rose Garden. 
And now we go down here and tell them to um, do some flower therapy. It might be that we also need a shed in here. Alright, let's do some flower therapy. There's a lot of prisoners interested in it. There comes the gardener, so maybe we need a few extra gardeners. Not sure. That will plant and fertilize everything, and then the um, the prisoners can actually start to, to work here and, and, and do some nice things. But we'll keep it like this for now. I wonder if they need somebody in there for the flower therapy. Led by gardener. Yeah, we need a gardener. Well, we have plenty of gardeners, so that's no problem. Oh, almost everybody is asleep again, so I think we're going to do another tunnel search soon. But this will help out, and this was pretty cheap. I like it that way. Can we already see... No, it's still 36%, but it's a bit early to expect a little change, because most new programs that we got didn't even start yet. It's night time, so there's no animal therapy going on yet. Well, they're doing their best to prepare everything for the um, flower garden, so that's interesting. And this guy already started working, I guess. Yep, that's done. Alright, let's do a tunnel search in all sectors. Find some contraband, and hopefully, if there is a tunnel, we'll find it. Of course, I hope to not find any tunnels, and, and that they didn't make any, but we'll never know. Ah, there's a tunnel. Well, it appears to be only a very small tunnel, so... This was only the starting works. We'll see. Now well, that's, that's about it. And done, and they're still all asleep. So that was pretty interesting, because now you didn't annoy them that we had to search them. All they have to do now is get in here and destroy that tunnel. Oh, they already did. Perfect. So that's gone. Kitchen's still doing a good job. And we already have another 17,000. Ooh, 81 prisoners are already reformed. So this number is slowly growing. That's very good. So let's see, can we do something else now? Now the thing with all of these is that it needs a shed. Now that's pretty easy, but it still needs it. So let's go start on a vegetable allotment. It will also be 10 by 16. So this will be it. We'll have to place a shed on it. Now let's get here, let's get a shed. It can be in the corner here, that's fine. I think we also need a compost bin. Which is where they can uh, put their compost in. I'll put it in the corner here. We'll have to turn the soil into dirt, of course. Otherwise, nothing will grow there. This is already dirt, so that's good. And now, it's the same thing as with the flowers. You just scroll down and you can see we can get carrots, potatoes, tomatoes and cabbages. We can also get sprinklers. Um, that will help automatically water the areas. You can see it covers a pretty big area. So... Yeah, it's five squares in total. So I think I'm going to install a few of these. Make sure that most plants are actually watered. Um, the shed also needs some water, so we'll have to put in the utilities anyway. And they are close by. So, let's see. I think we should just extend this one. I'm going to use it anyway. Do it like this. I don't know if we really need to connect all of these separately. Or that having water close by is fine. So, we'll have to check that. I don't see them in the blueprint here. So, could be that we don't have to... Ah, there we are. Alright. So, let's connect these... And connect it to this. That should be it. And now they'll have automated water. And now we can start to plant some stuff. Let's go check. What should we plant? Well, we want carrots, potatoes, tomato. This should be 16. So we can do four squares for each type of plant. So let's do carrots. Ah, there's the autosave. 
We'll do some carrots here. Then we'll do potatoes. Then we'll do tomatoes. And then we'll do cabbage. And the fun thing with this is you can use these vegetables in your kitchen. So then we'll have fresh produce that we can use in the kitchen. But we also need a place to store all of this. And that's going to be called a pantry. And that's a room that we need to build. And I'd like to build it right here. So we'll have to do a little bit of foundation building and then uh, create a pantry. It doesn't have to be that big, I think. So we'll just do it um, like this. Put a door in there. Put a door on, not a solitary door. Put the door on this side. And once it's done, we can set this up as a pantry and they can uh, store all the goods there. And they can either export it or use it in the kitchen. Well, here we can see the automatic watering. That's nice. And now we can put um, people to work here, I believe. So let's go to logistics. Yes. 13 workers can work there. Now we can also set up a program, farm work safety. I think that's good because that way we can get more prisoners to work safely on the farm. No teacher. Ah, we'll have to get a teacher. Of course, we need a farmer. Let's get two straight away. And then, oops, let's continue with the program. Reschedule all. So now they should have... Yeah, this is working. Ah, this one's unscheduled. All right, well, we'll do one. That's fine. So now we have a start. We have a, a farm to begin with. Um, they can start to work here. We have two farmers that can work here. And now we'll have to just wait a bit. And I think later on, if we can, I will start to... Uh, ah, they got the seats and stuff in now, so that's good. Later on, we will uh, expand the farm. But let's just first get going with this and see if it works. And then here we can build the pantry. So let's select this. This is now the pantry. It should be enclosed. Well, that's happened. So that's good. Ooh, I can hear tasers going. Now, objects. We can build storages in here. Or a tall fridge. Yeah, let's build a few storage shelves. As you can see, they work on both sides. So we can just do it like this. Ooh, there's something going on. What's with that? They have booze everywhere. Where did they get that? Very interesting. How did they find all of that? We didn't do a big search or something like that. They just found them all of a sudden. Alright, let's set up the pantry so that's done. Now our camera is spotting that these prisoners are behaving strangely. Ah, they're all drinking. Looks like they have a big drinking party. I guess what we're going to do is hire five more guards. And try and put things to rest. Let's do a shakedown in the maximum security. Let's check everything now. Make sure that all prisoners are well behaved. Put into solitary if they don't. Let's get rid of all their stuff. Well, we took quite some stuff. That's good. So apparently they're booze bags. Little bags with booze in it that they use. 24, that's a lot. Now this will annoy my prisoners. So that's not too good. And quite a few will be going into solitary confinement. 79 awaiting. The good thing is they don't have to go to solitary that long. So as soon as they're done, they'll be brought to their cells and then new ones will be brought in. So this number should start dropping at a certain point. Where is it? Right here. See, now they pick them up, they bring them back to their cell and then new ones will be brought in. So... That can happen. It's just a matter of have you having enough guards available to, to, to do all that. Interesting things like that happen and keep happening, and it's fine. It can be really funny, actually. Alright, well, things look quite okay in the prison so far. Even with the booze party, oh, we can see that new ones are being brought in. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cells. We have 10 of these um, solitary cells. So we can see the number was 79 and now 68 are awaiting. Here we have just 10, but we have a few more all around the prison. So that's working. And then, um, yeah, we'll see. 
I'm not really concerned by it. We should just let them do. Alright, put some lights in the pantry. A pantry or I don't know the right pronunciation. So if you do, please inform me the right pronunciation of the pantry or the pantry or whatever. Alright. Quite a few prisoners still have serious concerns. And now I'm wondering. Ah, we still have a lot of prison cells without the shower in it. I thought they already all had a sh the shower of their own. Didn't I do that? Ah, these ones have a shower of their own. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, we found a tunnel, by the way. Ah, they hear sounds of a tunnel. Well, let's do a tunnel search in the medium secure, minimal security area, because that's this area. Ah, that's my bird, for those of you who wonder if she's still around. Yes, she is. Um, so I think I'm going to invest in more showers as well. In their cells. That's a really good thing. Just put a shower in each prisoner's cell. Give them some free time or some lock-up time and they will use the shower. And the more that they have in their cell, the happier they usually are and the better behaved they are. So, um, it's a very good... Uh, I was going to say tactic, but I don't think that's the right word. But it's a very good thing to do. Just put um, these things in their cell. Make sure that they can take a shower in their cell. And that will help with the uh, hygiene one. And if that stays down... I mean the hygiene one, of course, then. Um, that really helps you make sure that all your prisoners stay happier. Because if hygiene is red for certain prisoners all the time, they'll be pissed and you'll have more angry prisoners. And as soon as we can help that, that's really important. And some prisoners don't want to shower right next to each other in sour shower blocks like that. And that's really an issue. Some just won't go take a shower. So then give them their own shower. What's this? Ah, oh, you got a present or something like that. Birthday present. Oh, that's nice. I really can't imagine what it would be like to celebrate your birthday in prison. I don't even celebrate my birthday and I'm not in prison, but like when you're sen sentenced for like 20 years and you have to do all those birthdays in prison, that must be awful. But anyways, that's not why we are here. We are here to try and make these prisoners behave well and accompany them with some nice things. All right, we have to put a few little pieces of pipe in here to give them all their own shower. What did I do with the regime? Ah, these still have shower time. All right. So these all don't have shower time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this first block of free time and put it into lockup. So that means that they'll be in their cell Cells are closed, and with nothing to do, most of them will take a shower. Interesting. All right. Well, this should do the trick now. So, just a few pieces of piping, and all these prisoners can now take a shower themselves as well. These already can. So, let's continue with this. Oh, I really want to finish this. Ah, I think I can do it just like this. Ah, now it goes under the toilets as well. Oh, well, that's okay, but that's not really necessary. So let's just do simple clicks then. I thought I could just drag it down. With the bookcase you can, if you've already put everything else in the cell, because all spaces are occupied, but that's not true for the... Um right. I'll have to place them all on the other side now. There's another booze party going on. I really wonder where they get the booze. So that's a big issue. Guess we'll have to do something about that soon. Make sure that we can stop the supply of booze, apparently. But apparently there is a way that they can smuggle that in pretty easily, because they all have it. So we will have to think about how to get rid of all the boots. I don't see a place where they can easily get it. So that's interesting. And I think most problems occur in this part of the prison, not in other parts. I 
don't see anywhere where we produce any booze or something like that, so... Maybe we should do a shakedown of the medium security. Let's just do that. See what we can find, get rid of all the stuff that they have, and maybe that can do the... Ah, oh, they got some gardening equipment. A lot of them got drinks. Oh, there are probably gin drinks in the gym or common room. Oh, hmm, interesting. Guess we'll have to put a guard into the um, staff room then. To make sure that prisoners don't get in there. Well, we found a lot of stuff. So that worked. We did annoy quite a few prisoners. But at least we got rid of a lot of stuff. So that's okay. It's worth it, I think. We have 91 reformed prisoners now. So just 9 more. And we'll achieve 100%, and then we get a good bonus of money. Alright, well, these all should now have their own space to shower. So this is the last cell block that we have to do. And then I would really like to take a look at hygiene. And see if it will work out the way it inten I intended to. Now, this day will still not count, because these won't have their shower in time. But I think... Soon enough, we should see that it will work out and more prisoners will actually take a shower. And then we're going to get rid of the um, mandatory shower time. Because that's also a time that they don't like. Because they're all forced into the shower by the schedule and by the guards then, of course. And that's something they don't like. So this might actually work out quite well. And if we can get rid of the um, boredom and stuff like that and just keep them clean, and that can really help out manage this prison. So that's good. Right, let's see. Do we already see a little difference? Oh, we can already see a difference. It's, it's way lower than it was. That's good. Still need recreation. You can set there's no need for recreation by adding pastimes in the common areas, TVs and radios. Well, we have a few of those. Maybe not enough, but we have some of those. Ah, we can see it's really um it's really working. That looks really nice. That's great actually. And our vegetables are growing. Well, they need to plant one more, but that's it. This looks nice. Don't think we already see... Yeah, we already see a drop in the reoffend rate, so that's good. 32% now. Ah, there is a prisoner here. Question is... Ah, this is the reformed prisoner consultation. Here's the reformed prisoner. There's one guy attending. Well, I don't think that's really good, but yeah, maybe we... Um, there should be more, but they're all in um, solitary, I think. Still 46 awaiting solitary, 47, so halfway there, lowering that number. And of course, with the uh, shakedown we did, we added quite a few to that. But we just have to be patient, and then the number will drop again. We can see the visitation is going well. And family needs really low, and that's mainly because of all the telephones that we added to the um, kitchen area and stuff like that. We can already see the prisoners calling, so that's good. Um, now that all prisoners should have their own shower, we can set this piece to lock up and this one to free time, so that we know that they can take a shower. Um, problem is that we have a lot of prisoners that have to go to solitary. They're just shackled in their cell, and they won't be going to the toilet or to the um, to the shower anytime soon. So hopefully they will at a certain point, of course, but not now. Ooh, this is really close to um, being overwhelmed, so let's add a few of these. We do make a good amount of money. I'm really happy with that. A lot of prisoners have serious complaints. Most are about hygiene, exercise, and recreation. But we do have a big common room that everybody can enjoy. Another one for them, so that's good. We have a gym, which is shared, so that's good. 
So I'm not sure why they are complaining. There's plenty of stuff to do. Well, what we could do at a certain point... Well, let's check if there's something that we can add to their cells that will make them more happy in their cells. So if we put a punch bag in... Caters to the exercise and recreational needs. Well, if we put a few punch bags in their cells, which we can, that might help out. Alright, let's put ten in. Let's see if they actually use them. And if we can see some sort of a result or something like that. Oh, we can see a lot of drinks again. I absolutely have no clue where they get that from. I have to do some research on that. If you know where they all get their booze bags, please let me know. Because um, usually they won't be able to get that. Especially not in these amounts. So either it is smuggled in or something like that. Uh, but we'll have to be um, more careful with things then. Maybe it's time to, to put up one or two scanners in the um, delivery area. So everything that comes in your prison will be scanned for contraband. Maybe that helps, but I'm not sure they managed to, to spread quite a few things around. Interesting enough. All right, 96 reformed prisoners, so that's going okay. Did they already start? I haven't seen the therapies yet. It would be great if they would have started. All right, let's take a look on the hygiene. The night will be over soon, and then most of them should take a shower. They should all be pretty happy. Let's do a tunnel search at the same time, just to make sure that we don't have any tunnels. The thing is, I've been playing quite a few prisons, um, and I never had these amounts of contraband and stuff like that in my prisons. It's almost like, th it, apparently they set it up to this game that there's more than usual or something like that, because I, n I never have these amounts of contraband and booze and stuff, So, or I'm doing something wrong, which is also a good possibility, of course. And I think with all of this space open and prisoners that can just go there, that's also not helping. Well, we can see that the hygiene need is pretty low, and still these have to wake up and, and, and do some showering, so that's working out. Will these use their punch bag? There's nobody in, so we can't see. Yeah, hygiene's pretty low now. I really like that. And now these can all take a shower in their cell, so that's good. Interesting thing is they all get a uniform orange, and all of a sudden it turns another color. Yeah, hygiene is lower than it was, so that worked out. I think we should give these prisoners a punch bag in their cell, because these are usually the most aggressive ones. I see we have a tunnel, or it just means that they hear noises from the tunnel. So we'll go check that soon. I don't see any messages that prisoners escaped. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, I really want to put in the punch bags and see if they work best way to do it is right here. Alright, that's punch bags. Where's the tunnel sounds? Ah, here's a tunnel. Ooh, they almost got out. Great that they found it. Let's get rid of the tunnels. Now you see, we just did a tunnel search. They didn't dig all of this tunnel in that little time. It's just that you don't find tunnels all the time. You have an 80% chance of finding them. And even if you mathematically say, well, then you have to do five tunnel search and you find all tunnels, that's not how it works. But I think it might help putting some punch bags in their cells. See if the exercise and recreational needs go down a bit. Really hope so. Ooh, we do get um, some produce here. Are they putting that in the pantry? Yes, they are. So we'll have tomatoes. Now we'll have to set up the um, prison policy. Crop type, natural crops. Continuous fertilizer. 
Farm search frequency. Uh, yeah, let's do daily searches. And let's search everything, I think. So just keep looking for things. All right. And this should um, make sure that these ingredients go to the... Um, so now they'll search everything here. Ah, they already did quite a few things. Let's research quite a few things. Flower therapy is ongoing. That's good. Hoping it works. The prisoner passed the animal therapy. So that really did work. Great. Now I hope a three strikes program will be done. And one of these. That will give us a lot of money. Our reoffend rate is down to 30. So we got 6% off already. I say that's that's pretty good. I have to do better, but it's pretty good. And with a lowering reoffending rate, that also means that prisoners are usually a little better behaved. So I'm kind of really hoping on that. Well, these all have their punch bags installed now, so they can start using those. Hopefully that will lower the exercise and recreational needs. Not 100% sure it will, but we'll see. Take a look at the prison now. We can see that nobody's using it, but mm, they might. Anyway, this appears to be working. Uh, but it's also been 40 minutes already. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave me any tips or tricks so I can improve my prison any further. But, well, we make money and we do quite good on the reoffend rate so i'm pretty happy with it but i can always do better so please let me know and of course i hope to see you in another video thank you very much bye bye